Welcome, welcome my friends. What's up guys, it's Friday. It's Drew Holmes here, and I'm shooting you a sales meeting here in my car. I'm actually got a loaner BMW for a couple days, and I always ask him to give me like one of the newer ones. Like, hey, give me one of the newest, nicest, biggest loaner cars that you have at BMW because I like to drive the new cars. I like to test them out. And I can tell you, these X3s are nice, dude. These are, they're big. Like, they're way bigger than the old X3s. These are probably the size of the old X5s. And uh, I could tell you, I've driven a lot of luxury cars. This is one of the nicest handling SUVs. Better than my Audi Q7 by a long shot. Way better as far as its handling. I mean, maybe when I first got the Audi, it handled pretty good, but... Over time, that thing is not even close to the handling of this car. Uh, but that's a side note. I really wanted to come at you guys with a quick video with what to do on a Friday because, you know, everybody looks at Fridays. Oh, you know, thank God it's Friday. That is the worst mentality to have. If you can't wait till it's Friday, you're going to be broke as a salesperson because that means that you're not focused on results. You're focused on which day of the week it is and you're with the rest of the herd. Let me just tell you, if, uh, if you stay there, you're never gonna make it. You're not gonna make it to the high level. Um, so on Fridays, my goal every Friday is to produce at least one to two new deals that they're gonna pop through on a Friday. And that's not easy to do, especially when you're trying to do the same thing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And I always, always try to come through with the deal on a Friday because I never want to go into the weekend striking out. And it, it sets me up for a good weekend and uh, be able to put my head on straight for going into the next week because I ended the week with the deal. I'm going to start the next week with the deal. But the lesson here is instead of starting to slow down on Friday morning, Friday, oh, let's go to lunch, and then Friday afternoon, instead of slowing down, speed up crank it up do twice as much on a Friday and you will feel amazing oh my god because then you can go into the weekend and if you don't work on the weekends like I know most of you guys don't you can feel good about it you can feel good about spending some time with your family doing some other things because you put everything you possibly had into your Friday your Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday but especially on Friday is the day that you got to crank up so make that happen today. You know, make the decision that you're going to do the right thing for your family. You're going to step out of being selfish, which is what you're doing right now. You're being selfish and get out there and make money for your family. Make it happen because your family relies on you. Your family needs it. And we live on an economic planet. You know, most people don't want to talk about money. A lot of people, I'm sure, are turned off by my channel because that's what I talk about. But that's what I'm trying to focus on. That's what I want to get in my life. I mean, I know anybody that says that they're not trying to build wealth is either a liar or they're stupid. And, and I say that in the nicest way I possibly can. Not very nice, but that's what it is. Because if you, that, what does that mean? That means that you don't care. That means you don't care about yourself. It means you don't care about your family. Why would you not want to have the one thing that's going to give you opportunity, decisions, choices, freedom, flexibility, better health. You know, one is directly correlated to the next. You can't even be healthy if you don't have money. That's the one thing that I really learned is like, if you live like a lot of people live and thank God it's Friday crowd, you're going to have a tough life. It's going to be harder than you think. You know, trust me, I've been there. It's not a pretty place. You do not want to go where I have been. But that's where you're headed if you don't get it figured out. I can promise you. You got to figure this thing out, okay? So crank it out on Friday. Make it happen, guys. And I'll see you soon.